Hello, Carrie. It is Wednesday, January 2nd, 2008. I hope you had a good New Year, a good New Year's Eve. We went to Worcester, which is, as always, interesting, exciting. This year we played lots and lots of Guitar Hero, because my cousin's got a Wii for Christmas and a Guitar Hero Wii. Um, it has changed my opinion of Guitar Hero, because I didn't really think that I liked it, or didn't see the point, but then I played a lot. And, um, that's changed. Unfortunately, during the mad rush that was the week before Christmas to get everything done, I didn't actually end up filming anything. I had planned to, and I planned to take lots of photos and film things and all that kind of stuff so I could brag about what we had done and all the hand warmers and all the presents and stuff like that, but I never actually got around to it. Mostly because this camera isn't very good at night, and I didn't want to film anything at night when you couldn't see it and it looked really crappy. So I tried to wait to the day, and it just it didn't happen. I also wasn't able to film any of the presents or anything like that like I wanted to. Or, you know, after they had been open presents, because they've kind of gotten dispersed and put away and all throughout the house. So, you just have to trust me when I say that. I got a lot of really cool stuff that I'm really looking forward to using, and it's really going to be a good time. Back there, behind me, right, right, right there, is my fancy new humidifier. I'm very excited about it. We had one up in my dorm at school, but it didn't work. Like, I don't know why, I just, you know, you think you put water in and you plug it in, there you go, but apparently not. So now I have a new fancy one. It's on now, you can probably hear it. It is very nice, it works, it doesn't make a lot of noise. It's a good time. I did, I was able to track down some of the stuff that I had gotten for Christmas. Um, not very much, this is only a little bit of what I've gotten, I think you might have seen some of it already. But here you go. Here are some of the things I got from Christmas that are still out and not dispersed around the house. Here is a Johnny Depp Captain Jack Sparrow t-shirt. I think it'll actually fit even, which is kind of surprising. All the little Jolly Roger guys. I don't know if you can tell, but they all look like they have sunglasses on. It's kind of weird. Here is a Baby Yeti that my parents got for me at Disney World. Isn't it cute? Here is a Wally, the green monster, stuffed animal. Isn't he awesome? These are wristies that my aunt gave me. They go in your hands, you know, they're like hobo gloves, but without the finger nubs or the mitten parts. They're fancy. Apparently they were designed by a ten year old, which makes me feel great. Here is the Encyclopedia of Magic and Witchcraft. It has lots and lots of uh, photos in it. Fancy photos of you know, that guy and those people. Aren't your people so wonderfully represented down there? There's Naked Chick. There's lots of boobies in this book. Lots and lots of boobies. I also got Bend the Rules Sewing, which is by a lady who's um, crafty blog I read. It's full of fun little beginning sewing techniques and projects and stuff and I'm very much looking forward to reading it. There's my bookmark. I really think it'll be fun and it's neat because it, it makes very small simple things that don't need a lot of fabric but teach you how to do things. Like that teaches you how to do pleats and that one teaches you how to not sew very much, I guess. And it's just neat. I also got ice gripper thingies, ice traction slip-ons from Target for five dollars. Which is awesome. I picked them out and made my parents give me them. I'm really hoping these work because I have no traction of my own. No natural ability of traction. So hopefully I will not be able to I'll be able to wear them and not fall on my ass all the time. Worst comes to worst, I think you probably get them at like Gander Mountain or something, if these don't work out. My aunt has a pair that is bright green. Apparently, non tractionness runs in the family. Because if she can't do it, I can't do it. The main um, interesting talking point from New Year's is that we went to Jordan's. Jordan's is a furniture store slash restaurant slash IMAX that's in a Farmington something like that, somewhere close to Worcester, or 45 minutes away from Worcester, or something like that. We went to go see I Am Legend there, in the IMAX. Um, it, it was an experience. This is the place that when, during the series or during the season, they said that if 
the Red Sox won the World Series, anybody who bought a couch for them could come and get their money back. So, you know, they basically gave away free couches. The free couches. So they gave a lot of those away. And it was a very interesting place. A very interesting place. Apparently two brothers run it, and one of it wanted to go into furniture, and the other one wanted to go into entertainment. So, I would show you the video of it, but Brent pretty much used it all. So, oh well. Go to his video and watch it. It's interesting. Also, perhaps the most interesting part of this whole experience is that in the bathrooms, the women's bathrooms by the IMAX, they had two-way mirrors, like, in the door of the bathroom. So when you sat down, nobody could see you, but you could see out and see everybody washing their hands and stuff like that. It was interesting. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to tape it because we were in a hurry to get to the movie, and I thought I'd be able to go back after the movie. But the story closed, so they made us go out a different exit into the furniture showrooms. And, yeah, it was just, it was interesting. The movie itself was, in my opinion, a very bad movie. Not because it was poorly made, or a poor story, or written, or anything like that, but because it was very sad. I don't like seeing sad movies. At least not in public. So go see it if you want to go and watch sad things. I didn't like it. But that's just me. It was a good story, good acting, all that kind of stuff. Just very sad. <laughs> so as of now, everyone has, or pretty much everyone, has officially gotten their corn warmers. Um, so far everyone has liked them, or at least pretended to like them, which is really all I can ask, I guess. Um, pretty much, you know, we would give them in groups. So, like, Brent's mom, um, my parents got them together, and my, um, and Brent's mom and grandma got them together, and my aunt and uncle, and all that kind of stuff, and Emily and Justin. And pretty much somebody, at some point, decides that I should make them for a living, or that I should sell them. Which I have don't really want to do, because they're kind of a pain in the ass. But I've been coming up with ideas on how to make them. And now that I have my brand new fancy sewing machine, it'd be a lot easier, I think. Or at least, maybe. I don't know. But, yeah. So everyone seems to like them, which is always a great thing. Hopefully they'll use them and not hurt themselves with them. Apparently three minutes is too long and they get really, really hot. Sorry. That's what they told me on the website. So it happens when you don't do it yourself, I guess, right? So, hopefully people will actually use them and like them and not get them wet. Or too awfully wet, because I don't know what will happen. But we'll find out. Right? I very much like the bag that you made me, the you made by Carrie bag. I used it as my backseat entertainment bag on the way down to Worcester and back, and it held up perfectly. Obviously, you made it by hand. So, of course it would help. But it fit quite a lot. I was kind of surprised by how much I was able to shove in it. And it looked very nice the entire time. Traveling in style. <laughs> so, as it is the new year, we're supposed to come up with, you know, resolutions and all that kind of stuff. And usually I don't bother because it's not going to happen. I mean, why? There's no point. I mean, is even the whole length thing, giving it up for 40 days, why? Why? No reason. But I do have some goals for the upcoming year. This upcoming year is going to be very eventful for Brent and I, I think. Because we're going to be, you know, this is our last semester at Potsdam, and then we'll hopefully be going to grad school and you know, getting accepted and all of that fun stuff, and then moving to Albany and being on our own for the first. See you on Saturday, Gary. Brent says hello. <laughs>